now that you know how to create a basic uh, block content, let's create our own block type. So what we'll do now is create a block type called promo and we'll add a, a single field to it. Um, we'll add a promo link to it. So it'll have the body field which gets added automatically and we will add, we'll add a custom field called promo link which will allow an editor to add, add some text to the body field and then a link to the promo page. But then we'll create a promos entity reference field on the blog content type so that an editor can inject or place one of these promos into the blog. And this is where blocks really become very powerful where you can have one copy of, of, of the promo but add it to multiple places. So if you have to change it, you just go change it from the custom block library and then the change appears everywhere. So the first thing we need to do is create our promo block type. So just go to structure, block layout, custom block library and click on block types. Click, 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 did I click on it? Yeah. And then just click on add custom block type. We'll call this promo used for promos. And I'll try and do this quickly because I know this video is probably, uh, will be a long video. Click on save. And then if you click on manage, dis um, sorry, manage fields, you'll see that, yep, the body field gets added. Great. But let's just add in our promo link field. Under general, click on link. And let's just call this uh, promo link. And leave the number of values to one. That's fine. And if you scroll down, make the text required so that you can have like a download now or free download. You know what the internet marketers love to add. Okay, so we've added in the link. Now let's... Now let's uh, fix, fix up the widget. Everything looks fine. Yeah, we'll just leave that as is. And then on the manage display, let's just hide the label and click on the cogwheel on the link formatter. And let's check open link in new window and add row equals no follow to links. Okay, click on update and don't forget to save the manage display page. All right, so if we go back into custom block, click on add custom block and now promo appears. Brilliant. And let's just call this Drupal 9, you know, download, no, download Drupal 9 and see they said it will never get done. Um, let's just see, we're already talking about Drupal 9. And I just call this download now, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, Drupal 9, Drupal 9. Okay, so this is our promo, promo block. And think, and think of this promo block as even a newsletter form or some type of form, some type of uh, reusable component that editors can just drop into um, certain places on the site. So now, okay, so... At this point, we have created our promo block type and we have created some content. Now let's add in a promos entity reference field on the blog content type so that we can actually reference one of these blocks. So to do that, just click on structure, content types, and then manage fields and click on add field. And under reference, Make sure you select other and let's call this promos. And under number of types, uh, type of item to reference, make sure you select custom block. This is very important. That's the entity type. And then under allowed number of values, select unlimited because marketers will want to add in more promos. All right, scroll down and just select promo under bundles from the reference type. This means that only promo 
block types will appear in the autocomplete. So if you end up having hundreds and hundreds of blocks, make sure you select the bundle or it'll be, it'll be difficult for an editor to um, select, a, uh, select the right block. So then just click on save settings and let's go to the manage form display. We'll just leave this as is. Oh, let's just place it below tags and click on save. And then on the manage display, so this is how it will be rendered on the actual uh, blog page. Move it right to the top, remove the label so that the label is hidden. Now under format, make sure you select rendered entity. This, the, this means that the actual promo will get rendered, whereas label will just print out the label of the block, which is Drupal 9 promo, which is useless. So just select rendered entity. And if you click on the cog wheel, yeah, just leave this as is. And then just click on save. Okay, now I think I've got everything sorted, sorted out now. All right, now go to content. I'm just checking my list here. Yes, I think I have everything. And let's go into a blog. And if we edit it and search for Drupal 9, click on Save and Published, it should appear. Here you go. Awesome. It should appear above the content as a block. And if you click on the download now, it takes you straight to the Drupal site.